In our scenario, our customer A is also going to send one of his crucial virtual machines to our service provider's backup as a service offering. Since he configured the connection to the service provider already, these steps are very easy to perform. Go to the Backup and Replication tab and choose Backup Copy from the ribbon. In the wizard, type in a name and a description and decide on the schedule when you want to perform the backup copy. The next step is selecting the virtual machine from the infrastructure, backups or maybe from a specific job. In my case, backup job 1. On the target page, we are going to choose our assigned cloud repository and the amount of restore points to keep. There is also the possibility to work with GFS retention, but for more information, consult our help guides on backup copy jobs. On the data transfer page, you can select direct or through a WAN accelerator when you have one and the service provider is providing you one. Finally, you can make some adjustment to the schedule when the backup copy job is actually allowed to transfer data to the service provider. And then you are finished after reviewing the summary. From here on, you are going to see that the backup job will become idle and will start to run for the first time. In this demonstration, we created a backup copy job to store one of our backups off-site on our service provider's infrastructure. 